What's up, Tim Crown? How on a day? What's in the happen? What's in the sub? Welcome back to our channel. Here we have Blackface accusing Borna Boy and Whiskey of stealing his songs, right? He said, Yes, they did. Him and Whiskey turned my song, Twist and Turn, to that whack song called Ginger with no lyrics, rhymes, or style. I made him posters for, um, for them a week after. <laughs> Blackface. I'm just, I don't have much to say about Blackface. I don't know whether Blackface is using this to get attention, you know, towards his new single. I have no idea, but you can see hashtag link in my bio. I, I really have no idea, but, you know, Blackface has been known to be that guy who only, his only job as a musician is just to tackle other musicians. Next one here. Um, Whiskey's baby mama praises him on success of is YouTube concert. Hmm. Are they still doing the do? <laughs> Make we know if you, if you understand what I'm trying to say. You understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. David does a new album breaks YouTube records. He has scored the biggest debut and biggest week ever by an album with a better time. 1.7 to 4 million views um, is the views and also hit the highest total views by an artist in a week which is 1.95 million views and i'm sure bulk of that is coming from the song um with Nicki minaj okay that song is amazing uh, but apart from the fact that the song is amazing the song actually got a lot of views these days people just put out shots um, songs people like Omali made short um, songs popular so guys here we have a socialite you can call her a socialite or an influencer I mean this is my first time saying our oh, name <laughs> like seriously but here's the thing this video has been trending on social media and the video is about her mocking beggars on the street while she was in the car let's watch this <laughs> Now, she came back on social media to apologize, you know, for doing such a video. I mean, you calm down recorded this right and posted it on social media what do you expect people to praise you like i don't really understand the logic behind this now here's the thing before that there was a report that i read like numerous reports on different blogs about her previous life like where she was coming from like you know she wasn't born with a silver spoon and i still wonder why people most of the time weren't born into a rich family or who grew up poor are the ones who shame the other person for being poor i don't really know i don't really understand that this stuff is trending on social media when i mean trend now i'm not even talking about how video i'm talking about like everybody now find fun you know in making fun of beggars on the street just like these guys let's watch And look at this one. This one is like literally kissing this 
girls okay well, fine there's a glass in between you know but it's still like it doesn't make sense you're kissing kids what's the meaning of that and even mouth to mouth like it's, ah this is this is um <laughs> this is troubling guys moving on to the next one remember in uh, my previous videos we talked about nice and the video is about him cheating on his wife now there was um, a video I stumbled on just now you know on social media where nice said he's set to release a gospel album after the report about him cheating let's watch this I released a uh, 30 tips of the iceberg early this year and it's doing wonderfully well episode one uh, we're working on episode two that will feature so many other artists uh, but right now we are releasing fear of god which is a gospel album um just a fear of god you know you all, all your things all your things the title of the album is fear of god now after nice's video surfaced online guess what a lot of advisors were on social media daddy freeze also you know gave his two cents about nice cheating and not just daddy freeze i think this lady too what's her name blessing okoro okay also did a video about that guys let's watch this i'm going to tell you uncle nice you are not sorry what you are doing with your wife is what is called emotional blackmail you are not sorry about the thing you did you just want to blackmail her into accepting you back when you are sorry about the things you did yes you cheated what we don't want to know whatever you did that is terrible right so long as she's your wife she has the ability to forgive you or not good good but this is what happens when you offend people when you offend people give them time to heal give them time to absorb stop blackmailing them into forgiving you because this thing you're doing right now is what is called drama uncle nice you're acting movie <laughs> you just did african magic for us why what do you want to do right now emotional blackmail simply means people start saying hey yeah you don't beg now Forgive her now. You too do now. Now, wow. That's what you just want to do. When you love people and you offend them, you give them time to heal. It is that, that thing you do within that time that they are healing that makes us understand if you truly... First things first. Um, nice is 100% wrong in my opinion. Don't cheat on a woman. Um, when cheating happens... I will never share the blame between a man and a woman. The blame of cheating lies 100% in the hands of the man. However, when it comes to preventing cheating, there's the job of both the man and the woman. Because men, by default, like to cheat is in our somebody used a perfect yoruba term it is in our uh, ogun ide thank you very much ogun ide ni eh ogun ide ni cheating for kunrin when you know that something is in somebody's blood what do you do to prevent it or to minimize the occurrence it is also your duty i remember we talked about Igbo girls, Igbo men, not um, Igbo men rejecting Igbo girls. Okay, but I know I got you know um, some Igbo guys telling me to uh, be specific, which is more about the emo, um, the Anambra and Enugu or wavy. I think yeah, like this this set of people. Remember they were v um, females who came out to say, you know, Anambra men don't want to marry us or Enugu where men don't want to marry us. They rather marry outsiders. Blah blah blah. You know, everybody with their own opinion and all that. Now here's a lady who reacted to all those video strength. There's a lot of video strength like Igbo girls coming out to say we they, they they don't want to marry us our own people don't want to marry us like what's going on we're going older the whole thing but guys let's watch this uh, good morning man. on behalf of all the anambra girls and anambra guys i beg may i take go baby now guaranteed at the year most people they complain they complain say our anambra guys not the reason of our matter they know they do this huh? auntie how you want me to take reason your matter our anambra guys not the reason matter based on my big nash and my big breast and by using all the whole organic cream, if you like, get big nash, big breast, 
they use all the whole organic cream ready for this world. If you don't get karata, they don't really see your matter. Now karata, our own guys they marry, not they marry by say you too fine, you too fresh, you too do this, you too do that. Your you package front and back. They don't they marry that kind of people. Now karata they marry. If you like, eh? May your breast, may your nyash, get karata, pass your own karata. My sister, they don't go reason your matter. Our own number guys, I tell you. They they marry girls, they get karata, no vest. We go feel if they marry then come house. They go feel take care of their mama and their papa. They value girl where we say get better karata. If you like, be like get there. If you like, they like I. If you like, no get front, no get back. But you get karata, they go marry you. No vest. I don't know why when like, they cry, say our own and brother guys, they they marry them. How they want how they want starts. I don't understand. But we say for him on state. Ten guys they date one girl. And the whole ten guys, all of them know themselves. All of them be friends. They, they do things together. And different of them, they don't know that one girl is in the date. How they want me to date, they listen to your matter. One girl goes celebrate her birthday. They celebrate and go invite like 20 guys. Out of 20 guys, the 20 of them know themselves. And the one girl they the date. How they want to date, they listen to your matter. Man, I know how they want to date, they listen to your matter. I don't understand. Why they do that? If it be any good state, they listen to them. But all that thing cool now, I go to that side. My sister, I don't go to that number. Because our own guys, they don't go feel leave us, go marry on They never marry us, finish. No vest, auntie. They never marry us, finish. So now on our side now, now you come, I don't understand. Waiting they special that side where they want to go leave our own girls when they marry them. Yes, they, they marry. Their mama they tell them say they keep wife for them for house. This that. Yes, they keep wife. Because now woman where get karata now they keep for house. Not be the one where buy big nash and big breast. Now woman where get karata now they they keep for them for house and you know vex. If they be saying I must say go the uh any good state go the reason on a matter. I beg no na calm down for na guys. No na be calming down for na guys. You understand? If you guys know the reason on a matter, I'm not in another state, you go figure on the reason on a matter because you get waiting them see. So now, make them know the reason on a matter. You come be our own guys now, now I go. Ah, they not be married on a no vest. So now, bright price self matter. You know, bright price money if you marry like five girls, for number states. I don't understand. You know, if they complain say that they build club, that they do this, that they do that, that they build up. Yes, because not too like party. You not too like party. So they go, they use that money, they go take the marry on they take they do hotel for that they do club because in a nice place in a couple of people they have been worried about they're not worried now i don't know what each other side when i come and i said now our own guys going to marry you now until not the possible no vest they never marry us finish they never marry us finish and besides our own guys they know they marry girls say you to package you might just jump might just open your ear very well might just wear you the normal truth waiting that they marry eh now woman will get karata no vest if you don't get karata auntie just they go back to your own state. If you don't get karata, forget. Not even the reason say man and brother man come they marry you. Because certain they marry na karata. And besides, they never marry us finish yeah. So men not be coming down. Men not be coming down for na man. Na man go come marry you na yeah. They go come marry you. Videos upon videos keeps trending. Videos on um, ladies, you know, complaining about guys not marrying them. And just in time, this I saw this right. This video of another lady you know proposing to his boyfriend to her <laughs> to her boyfriend Now guys, what do you think about this? Do you think it's okay? Like some people don't see anything wrong with this, you know, lady proposing to um, is my Why do I keep saying is to her man? Let me know your thoughts about this. Well, moving on to the next one. Here we have um, Kubana chief priest spraying money. This guy is just you no. Know, every time I see this guy, it's all is all about spraying money. And that's one thing I enjoy about him because he enjoy life to the fullest. Well, I'm not his P, so I can't speak for him. <laughs> Let's watch this video.
here we have digicopy now speaking about money you can be okay you can be fine but you will still be aiming higher that's if you're actually a go-getter anyways but here we have digicopy saying somebody asked digicopy by the way are you really happy and she said no i keep wanting more in life not sure where this is leading to you can never be satisfied because that's how we are naturally as human beings like we can be satisfied like our wants are unlimited it's just our needs that's a limit what do you need is the main thing moving on to the next or one talking about living life yeah we have to keep making one enjoying our best life as you said i beg you i don't want to come lagos again lagos now please we'll be saying i won't stay away from guys let's watch this video people i am serious about this this is the life i was made for like i did not come to this life to so far i don't want to come back to lagos ah! Ah! i just want to enjoy just be relaxing and be taken care of, you know? Like, I don't come this life to suffer, get get, in Patalo, politician. Jesus, the stressless life that I have lived in the last two days has been the ultimate getaway for me. I am absolutely loving it, guys. Loving it. I want to come to Lagos again. You push should take the tea and be going. Let me just be relaxing on the beach. You guys, look at that. See this view. Look at God. Like, who has time for all that labor hassle? But turns out that Tokemakiwa actually went to spend the time with her boyfriend. A lot of people don't know this, but yeah, Tokemakiwa is in a relationship. Whether in a serious relationship or not a serious relationship, you don't know, consign me. <laughs> but she's in a relationship with this guy. That's his username on Instagram is just to just you. I believe that is it. Um, yeah, so that's the person took her marking wise hanging out with, you know. Moving on to the next one here, we have Speed Darlington. Speed Darlington, they let Rude Boy you know, say, in be copy, copy, why they copy my style? Why you copy my dress? Here, Speed Darlington said, copy, copy, be original. Wait, you think um, because we speak the same language, I won't mind, or maybe everything is a plan. You probably know I talk a lot. So copying me may trigger me to say something which boosts your slow career. Who knows? <laughs> speed dialing now you can't get well you be speed dialing this so now you get speed career. <laughs> the next one here we have a lady. The, can you do the even you wait? What is your excuse? Me too, what is my own excuse? See this woman, they drum for church at this age. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, let's watch this. Next one here we have in Nigeria. Now I'm gonna read this. I saw it on you know channels news um, on Instagram, and I'm just gonna quickly read it. U.S. hails Nigerian who helped develop COVID-19 vaccine. Hmm. We have that brain. The brain did there as always. <laughs> the United States Embassy in Nigeria has outed a Nigerian-born medical doctor Onyema um, Udwagu for his role in the development of a COVID-19 vaccine in America. All I just want to say congratulations to us as Nigerians. And this is not the, this is not the first time there've been a lot of reports from Harvard good report about Nigerians. Okay, good report about Nigerians. Now speaking about Nigeria as a country, actually the news about that guy just reminds me about this pastor, what this pastor said about Nigeria. Nigeria is the worst nation. I am saying it because I know what I'm saying. When you appoint a leader that is dull, everybody in that nation will look as if they are dull. But Nigerians are brilliant people. In all the universities in America, Nigeria, they are top notch. But their leader, they are dull no brain of businesses 
no brain of future no brain of infrastructure no brain of raising people but they have only brain to steal money and that's why you see nigerians everywhere and nobody want to see green passport and again i pray one day that the whole nation will say they don't want nigeria again you know why that prayer god will answer it so that nigerians will go back home necessity is the mother of invention so that they would think but there was a part where people said they don't like the part was when he said okay make you not come back on developing that country instead of making that the using i bring the develop another man country would you come back to nigeria if you had the opportunity to leave being um, an impact you know in the society in your own country let me know in the comment section below let us move straight to the next one the lucky shooting the uk parliament now done the debate on sanctioning nigerian government officials those ones with the travel good year i be the one sanction them now for that lucky massacre solidarity demonstrate it by identifying and targeting those that we know are responsible for terrible violence and abuses that the activists have faced. The least we should do is to make sure that those who have murdered Nigerians and deprived them of their human rights aren't able to benefit from trade or travel to the UK. In my view, that should include the leaders of the government and the military who are now, even now, refusing to allow transparent and fair investigations to happen and for justice to be implemented and guys thank you so much for watching let us move straight to the question of the day now to this question it's not really a question it's a picture i tell me what is wrong with this picture let me know what you think is wrong with what you're saying what is the first thing that comes to your mind like immediately you see this picture leave a comment down below um or your answers in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video guys subscribe if you're yet to subscribe for more videos too see you next time peace